Edexcel A-Level Maths Statistics, Summer 2019, Question 1. Three bags, A, B and C, each contain one red marble and some green marbles. Bag A contains one red marble and nine green marbles only. Bag B contains one red marble and four green marbles only. And bag C contains one red marble and two green marbles only. Sasha selects at random one marble from bag A. If he selects a red marble, he stops selecting. If the marble is green, he continues by selecting at random one marble from bag B. If he selects a red marble, he stops selecting. If the marble is green, he continues by selecting at random one marble from bag C. So for part A, we need to draw a tree diagram to represent this information. So let's start with bag A. Bag A, we've got two possibilities, a red marble or a green marble. As there are 10 marbles, one of them is red. Probability of red is one out of 10. The probability of green is nine out of 10. We're now gonna move on to bag B. If red was picked in the first bag, everything stops. So there's no branches coming out of the red from bag A. Instead, we're gonna have our branches coming out of the green. This time, there's one red and four green. So our probabilities are for green are four fifths, for red is one fifth. For bag C, it's the same again. Red means we stop, so there are no branches coming out of bag B's red branch. Instead, we're gonna split it green. This time it's one red marble to two green marbles. So two out of three for green, or one out of three for red. There we go. For part B, we need to find the probability that Sasha selects three green marbles. Well, there's only one route through our tree where three green marbles are selected. That's green, green, green. So to find the probability, we multiply those three probabilities together, nine tenths times four fifths times two thirds, giving us an answer of 12 over 25. For part C, we need to find the probability that Sasha selects at least one marble of each color. So I've done this by looking along the paths and looking at which events lead to at least one marble of each color. So we could have green from bag A and then a red from bag B. We could have two greens to start with and then a red from bag C. So they're the only options that give us green and red. So by working them out, so green and red is nine tenths times a fifth. Green, green, red is nine tenths times four fifths times a third, just working our way along that branch, multiplying the probabilities together. And this gives us an answer of 21 over 50. Part D, given that Sasha selects a red marble, find the probability that he selects it from bag B. So we're looking at the probability of red from B given that a red marble has been selected. Well, using our formulae that we have, we know this is the same as the probability of the intersect of a red from B and red being selected, all over the probability of a red one selected. So looking at our probability tree again, the path that gives us a red from B and a red selected, that's only one way to do that. That's green from bag A and red from bag B. So nine tenths times a fifth. Probability of red selected, well either it's red from bag A, which is the tenth, the red from bag B, so nine tenths times a fifth, or a red from bag C, so nine tenths times four fifths times a third. Again, just working our way along those branches, adding all those together on the bottom, so we get nine over 50, all over 13 over 25, which gives us an answer of nine over 26. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to the Doing Maths channel or check out some more of my videos by clicking on the links here.